Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video, and in today's video, guys, um, well, first off, most importantly, our code is about to expire. So appreciate it if you do do that. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we had a great day today. I'm not gonna lie, we had a fantastic day today. So we got up to 2272. Now I don't know. I honestly don't know if this is going to be safe. Uh, for right now, the plan is just to kind of watch the leaderboard. Uh, we were at 264 initially, so I mean it is moving fairly quickly. Um, let's take a look at what the bottom is. It's been moving really fast. Um, so yeah, it was it was at like 2170 before that. So things are heating up. Things are heating up. But good news for you guys, I'm going to show you the best attack. It's fairly easy to do. It's not a difficult attack by any means. Um, and the thing is, well, I'll, I'll talk more about the season later, but let's go over, let's go over the tech. Now, this is the base I used. I think it's good. I think what happens on these last few days when everyone has the same tech, you'll probably notice that a lot, right? Is that everyone's, you know, they've got the same attack, they've got the same, you know, defenses. You don't really come up upon something and it's like, oh my God, this is so different. Um, the difference maker is the base. And, uh, wait, where's I want that? Um, yeah. Wait a sec, I'm having a brain fart here in real time. The, the base, it didn't matter that much, um, but it was important to find something um, that slowed players down a little bit. The one I was using yesterday, kind of the circle around one, um, that one was getting smoked. And funny enough, I was at low 21 this morning, and I built this, and I lost three in a row right away. So, I don't know. I can't say that the base has been good. The push was good. The push was definitely decent. Um, we had these three losses kind of just out of nowhere. And then I got horrible matchmaking. We matched a... Uh, I don't know what happened there. This guy was 24 when I matched him. We deranked him, which was good. And then we matched the 23 after. And it's like, all right, maybe I'll just, you know, stop for right now because... I don't want to push uh, the luck any further. And plus, it looked like a good parking spot initially, but after how fast moved today, I don't know. You never really know until the last day. But um, so let's go over the tech. What did we get today? Obviously, today was the big day. Today was the five doom cannons, which was huge. Um, that di we didn't get many fizzles. I got like maybe one or two random ones. Typically the fizzles we got, they weren't bomber players, like it's not like we were melting people that we got the five doom cannons, but it was enough to slow people down. And sometimes you get the odd guy that screws up his seeker attack, um, but then there's other times that you guys are probably in rank 20, are, you know, all too familiar with. Um, you'll get the odd seeker guy that absolutely smashes it, which is annoying. I always find the seeker hits annoying in lower ranks. Uh, you kind of expect it at higher levels. Um, but it's super annoying to be in rank 20 and get smoked by a Seeker player when you have max defense and like a good base and stuff because it's like Why are you in rank 20 if you could pull off hits like that? Like what that means is they just you know everything came together on that hit against you and You know typically they're losing typically they're fizzling. That's why they're in rank 20 or low 21 with Seekers, so um, That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Um, we'll talk more about that when we do like the review of the season. I do have a lot to say about this season for sure. And I want to hear from you guys too. So you guys let me know down below in the comments, you know, getting ready for those videos if you liked it or you didn't like it if you're done or if you're still going. Um, what else do we have to go over? Uh, so there's the base, there's the tech. Now the other thing, so the five doom cannons, that allowed us to get, um, I think we got to 22 with that. It took a very long time. It was not an easy push by any means, but we did get to 22 with that. Then what we did immediately was we unlocked Kavon. Kavon was huge. Kavon was huge. Now, I was second guessing this. I was just going by, you know, other people using Kavon and having success. So I was like, okay, he must be good. But to me, it didn't make any sense on paper because the, you know, I wasn't fizzling. So I was like, why would I get Kavon when I could get Brick in battle orders and maybe speed up the attack a little bit? But it definitely helped. It definitely sped things along. Because I think what happens is you don't really notice it, but you're losing bombers throughout the attack. And just being able to bring those back or bringing back heavies so you, you don't have to spend your GB, you know, on critters and shocks and stuff. Um, it allows you to use more, more speed serum, which, you know, obviously speeds you up more. Then what we did after we got Kavana rank 22 on my next chest, I got Rifleman. 
And I can't say that made a huge difference. I might not recommend getting that, at least in this meta, when everything is so fast. Rifles with Kavan's second win are really good when it's a fizzle meta and you need to stay alive and the rifles end up eating a lot of rockets. I don't know if I would have done that. I think um, I probably should have saved um, and got the barrage because I think the barrage is going to be good for the engines at the very end, getting a couple seconds there and as like a secondary mine clearing thing if they're in the way. Um, so yeah, we got that win streak. We're holding on to that. Uh, let's go over the last two hits here because these were tricky. So this was an interesting base. This guy had the extra DVD. And what I did a lot of times on these bases, um, I found it a huge benefit to keep everybody together. And when I say these bases, I mean bases that are really like in a straight line. Like this also would have been prime probably for laser rangers, but I hadn't been using them and I wasn't about to, uh, you know, about to experiment uh, on this hit when I was getting close to the end. Um, so yeah, I, I like these because you can use your speed serum and hit all your bombardiers and it really gets you moving quick. I like to delay Kavan off the beginning because um, if he gets caught up in the speed serum, what happens is he'll run up right out in front of the highways and he'll die right away. So we don't want that happening. So I mean, we're just cycling speed serum as the heavies get lower, second wind. Um, of course, the heavy choppers go the wrong way for us. Uh, looks like Kavan's about to die, but he hangs on. And you can see some of the riflemen, you know, serving their part a little bit, just staying alive, distracting maybe a doom cannon shot or something like that is all we really need them to do. Um, it's funny this season we don't have med kits. And then we get to this very end right here. Now this part is very important. This to me is where your bomber hit is won or lost. And really what you need to do, I forget if I did it here or not, um, it depends on your speed serum. If you have speed serum, you can bypass everything. So. Say my bombers get a little bit closer, we can just flare the engine right now um, and disregard the shock, disregard the hot pot, and then just go. I didn't have the speed serum ready to go there, so the danger is if I didn't take out that hot pot with no speed serum, it can turn and it can kill all your bombers. That did happen to me once today, um, so you got to be very careful with that. And yeah, I didn't have any speed serums left there, so we didn't get an optimal finish by any means. But in that position, ideally what you want to have happen is you want to be able to put your speed serum down, uh, flare once, and then flare twice right on the engines and just go through everything. This was an interesting base. This one was a little bit different. He's got the microwaver at the end too. Um, any of these L bases, and we'll go over the next one too, uh, any of these L bases I would do like this. I'd go one, one, two on the top right side and then I'd go two, three on the bottom. And what that would allow me to do is they would all kind of meet right about here. Because I found if I didn't do that, what would happen? If I put them all on this ramp, uh, they would always all get bunched up here. And then they'd have to go like this way up and around. And it just took a very long time. Uh, opposed to going right from here, they're done. And then they can go right up to the center. I found that that allowed them to move a little faster. Is it the best way to hit it? I don't know. That's just what was working for me. So um, we can put it at four times speed here. So again, speed serum on the landing for sure, especially on this base. I also like to shock some of the uh, the doom cannons um, that are, that kill the heavy choppers because we need those heavies coming out of the heavy choppers. Um, not as important with Kavan. So then you see we're just going right up here. We've got speed serum on the microwave. As soon as that's done, since we've got another speed serum, we're going right over here. Bingo, bango, bongo. All the bombers die, you'll notice that. Um, which is funny, I, I pulled off the, the that hit um, on an attack where we didn't need it. Um, so I think this one will probably do... Oh, actually, we go from the bottom this time. But you see the difference there. I got 211 on that hit, and I got 140 on this hit. This hit sucked. So um, maybe we'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So yeah, if we come around this L, I found they always got trapped in kind of the same zone, and I'd have to do a ground flare, which I think I end up doing here, because they're just too far on the bottom. So yeah, I bring them back up. We're getting hit by the rocket in the back. Um, it's just not an optimal way to do it, I don't think. Um, and then we got to worry about this and the stupid hot pot, uh, which still end up killing some of my bombers. And then we go like that, and we barely get that edge down, so not the best way to do it. Um, let's see, do we have any of the normal bases? No, it's another L. I found the L ones super annoying because I found what happened is you'd either smash them and things would go perfectly, or you'd screw up the hit. Um, this base was in line enough, I felt like going from the bottom, because by the time they get up to the middle, 
the bombers are close enough to this engine to shoot it down anyways that I don't need to drop them on another side, I didn't feel like. Um, 158, again, not a great time. Um, we'll talk about the stats too. So what I ended up doing on my push from 22 um, to 2270 was I also changed my stats. I changed the 90 gunboat energy for the 70 DVD, and that seemed to help a little bit. I don't know if it was deterring secret players, but I certainly wasn't matching as many of them. Um, let's see, Jonah. Now, everyone was running that stupid L base. He actually had a grappler too, which is kind of interesting. This one's super annoying. Um, no, everyone was running that corner base, so I don't know. I like these bases better. I find I find they uh, they slow people down just a, a little bit more. So, anyways, guys, there is your tips for the uh, for the final push, tech. Uh, different bases in the attack um, you know my best advice for this season uh, the way that the the end meta shaped out to be is you know just take your time have patience you're gonna lose to the odd seeker hit just eat it and move on and you know if you can put the time in you can absolutely get a great finish um, you know following these kind of tips we went over so I hope that helps you out let me know what you guys think down below in the comments appreciate you thank you for watching We'll catch you next one. Chicken out. Back, back.